Hi guys, it's day 13 of 30 Days of Love Warrior and we are getting to the part where Glennon is first introducing the concept of what a brutal life is. When I first found Glennon, I loved that she combined the two words of brutal and beautiful to come up with a really descriptive word of how messy life is. That life is both brutal and beautiful and often all at the same time. So where we are in the book is, you know, Craig and her, they had two more children and Craig and her are kind of finding their roles in the household. And what's happening is that there is becoming a bigger and bigger divide between them. Their days are like night and day different from one another. And so Craig's coming home and he's asking her, how was your day? And Glennon's responding, uh, <laughs> crazy. <laughs> you know, she's talking about uh, Tish is crying in the corner because she never, ever lets her drink the dishwasher detergent. She has spaghetti stained top on, unwashed hair, and a gorgeous baby on her hip. And all she wants to say is that it was a lifetime, it was the best of times, it was the worst of times. And she has this really beautiful dialogue that's really describing her day. And as I'm reading this, I'm looking at the complexity that we experience as women. That we're holding two very opposing things, oftentimes simultaneously. And so what this is creating is it's creating a very complex and dynamic uh, life experience, right? But that's kind of goes back to what Glennon was talking about earlier of like, we're not supposed to be complicated or complex. And so instead of opening up and sharing these very, you know, diverse and sometimes opposing forces, we oftentimes just isolate because it's like, how could you ever understand? And so when it comes to building intimacy with people, this is a barrier. It's a barrier if we are judging our own experience as too complicated to explain or you would think I was crazy if I told you. So we're going to be diving into this brutal concept and embracing the mess today in your journaling prompts and I can't wait. I will see you guys tomorrow.